This is so cool! Whoa! I don't know how to get back down, but we made it up here. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful day here in Tropea to catch you up. If you missed our last vlog, after a very exhausting long travel day, we made it here. And to put it simply, it's paradise on earth. We're gonna start with breakfast, but I gotta show you guys just how incredible Tropea really is. Let's do it. The past two mornings that we've been here in Tropea, we have been to the same bakery, made friends with the locals there, or the workers there. They're so freaking sweet. And they even wrote in English, hello, and chocolate on our um, cappuccinos, which this is not like one of those fancy places where that's a thing, you know? Um, it's just, they're so kind here. But we're heading there again. I'm gonna show you the goodies that we get into. And of course, our cappuccinos. See? Um, let's go eat. I shouldn't have said a damn thing about that place. Bit me in the ass. I'm eating my delicious fruit looking thing and on the strawberry is a bird feather. I think it was- A actual bird, bird feather on my strawberry. Didn't finish my drink, didn't finish my food. I'm fighting the urge to- I'm currently fighting the urge to throw up right now. Oh god. Look y'all, I'd rather have my piss blown back onto my jeans again than have a bird feather in my food. And that's just me. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, here's Trevea. <laughs> now we're gonna show you guys around. It is gorgeous here. The feather situation is in the best. And check this out. I have never in my entire life seen water that clear and that blue. Maybe on a computer wallpaper, but in real life, it looks like the Caribbean, or what I imagine the Caribbean looks like. It is just pristine. Um, I don't even know if the camera can pick it up in real life. I'm sure going to try to show you guys, but right now we're finding the stairs to um, go down because you got to make your yeah make a trek down there 
um, the city is actually set up and set back on like a huge hill um, and then the beach is down there but it makes for gorgeous photos gorgeous drone shots oh we're just so happy to be here it is so gorgeous I'm going on these rocks. I've seen people climb on them. I haven't been on them yet. I want to see what's over here, so let's go. I mean, look at that water. Are you serious? Okay, I've seen people climb up here. I really want to go over there. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, so I am attempting. Oh, it's slippery over here. I'm on this like thing. Oh, oh let me uh, get right back. Hold on. I think I'm gonna try and get up this way. Whoa, it's crazy. Holy smokes. Whoa. Whoa, you guys, look at this. This is so cool. Okay, so I bet you could jump off of that. You got out far enough, you could definitely do that. Same for here. I don't know where this guy's going, but I might follow him. This is insane! All right, so I wasn't sure if we'd be able to see it from this angle, but I have to show you guys the coolest natural cave slash grotto slash lagoon that this hillside has. It is insane. And you could see it from climbing on these rocks right here. So I'm gonna show you. You probably saw it in a drone shot too, but it's so sick. So I got joined by another um, Italian friend and I said ciao and he starts talking <laughs> in fluent Italian. I'm like, oh no, no, mi dispiace, parli un po' italiano. Um, and then I was like, I heard bellissima, I heard him say bellissima. So then I was like, es bellissima, si? And he goes, si, bella. 
at Amare Bella, something like that, like the beach is beautiful or something. And I could ask him, to the dove say, you know, where are you from? He said, Luma. So that cave was new to him too. And I was like, so cool. And he goes, and I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> but I think, it, I think it means he was agreeing with me. Oh guys, this is so cool. I gotta go tell Seth. I'm heading back in, wish me luck. I gotta climb off this rock thing, but here we go. We've been here for a couple hours. We got the umbrella set up and look how packed it is. So look at me. Oh my God, I'm like a sailor. Um, we just got um, a fruit smoothie. Ice cream. Tell them what it's called. Piccolo grande. Oh. No, cono grande. Small, large. <laughs> <laughs> um, he got a mega ice cream. Mega ice cream. What's it do? It's gonna be so refreshing after. Look, we're still sweating. It's I so know. hot out, but. Cheers. We just finished our desserts for lunch. I think we're gonna grab a slice of pizza to hold us over because I don't know if you noticed, but it's pretty dead because right around this time. Every single day um, in Italy is called a siesta. You've heard of it probably, but basically restaurants shut down, shops shut down from about noon or 1.30 to about 6 or 7 at night. Um, so everybody goes home, they chill, they unwind, they get ready for the evening, um, and that's what we're about to do, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time to go chill, we're exhausted. <laughs> Alrighty guys, siesta is over. It's time for us to get out into the world. We're gonna go grab some pizza at a place we had the first night. It was stupid good. Um, so we're gonna head there. Do you remember what it's called by chance? No. I'll try and link everything down below if you're in Tripea and you want some delicious pizza. But we're hungry. Let's go eat for our last night here. Dead. 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 I don't know what this is. It's called stuffed edge. I think these are. Oh my god. Yeah. There's cheese under there. And it's got the barata in the middle, arugula, balsamic vinaigrette, or vinegar glaze, tomatoes, some sort of meat. It is divine. And there's. Um, the Kono Romana place on top. It is stupid good. This might be the best thing in Italy. This is the best thing I've had here. Mm. What do you think? Stupid good. Stupid good. Stupid good. Right. Look at that.